If you go through the world with open eyes and an open mind, there can be an adventure waiting behind every corner. And my biggest adventure was waiting for me in Sierra Leone. We just wanted to do a relaxed boat ride at the wildlife sanctuary T.Y. Island. And it turned out as the most adventurous trip we have done on this whole journey. Y Island is a wildlife sanctuary and national park surrounded by the Moa River in the south of Sierra Leone. Tiwai means Big Island in the language of the Mende people, the inhabitants of the region and one of the two largest ethnic groups in Sierra Leone. On the way to Tiwai Island, we passed several small villages. Just a casual stop in the jungle. We just went through the little town of Potoro and we're going to a place called Tiwai Island now. It's super hot, like 40 degrees, as you can see, it. I'm completely soaked. And it goes into this direction, into the jungle. And there are supposed to be some small hippos. Mini but hippos. I guess we're not gonna see them. I hope there is some water because I'm so sweaty. When we arrived at the community-based campground of Tiwai, we first had to ask the eldest of the village for permission to stay. And then the people from the village embraced us and had to pitch our tent. There is Leah, expert. <laughs> With a lot of help from my friends. So this is how the showers look like in the middle of the jungle in Sierra Leone. And here you can see you get a bucket of water of the people from the village and then you can have your nice shower. After refreshing ourselves, the people from the village offered to take us with a boat down the river to see more of the wilderness. Little did we know what an adventure that would be. All starting already on the way to the boat with giant ants biting my feet hurtfully. <laughs> Better more quick. We should have taken some proper shoes, maybe. Hello. The boat was a bit smaller than we imagined. It was made out of a kapok tree, the so-called cotton tree, in one single piece. And it felt like sitting in a shaky nutshell. The Kapok, by the way, is the landmark of Sierra Leone's capital Freetown and looks much more massive when standing on land than when transformed into a boat and swimming on a river. this little boat now. It's actually a quite interesting experience because it's so unstable. Everything started out very idyllic. Our captain Mustafa navigated the boat and his trainee steered it until... So we had a little incident and um, one of the sticks broke down so now our the guide here on the boat is preparing a new stick to row the boat back. Problem solved. Now we are going back or further. On our journey down the river, Captain Mustafa told us that there are a lot of crocodiles living in that river. From that moment on, I kept my hands inside our swimming tree trunk. Oh gosh, oh gosh. 
it's so shaky, it's unbelievable. And they are working their ass off. After going down the river for two hours, the sun started to go down and we wondered how we would ever manage to go up the river again. Now not only the paddle broke, and now we are as well stuck in between all the stones. Captain Mustafa had completely underestimated our heavy weight. The boat got stuck in the rocks of rapids several times and didn't move anymore. Until both of our guides jumped into the crocodile border to save our asses. Meanwhile, more and more water flooded the boat. And the sun started to disappear. But after an hour of fighting and me thinking we would maybe get lost here on this river in the middle of the jungle of Sierra Leone, Captain Mustafa and his trainee made it over the worst parts and only had to row back in calm water. What? Captain Mustafa, by the way, not only talked about crocodiles. He basically talked non-stop whenever he was not shouting at his trainee in fear of losing the boat. If you ever visit Tiwai Island, ask for Mustafa to get the boat ride of your life. You probably can tell how happy we were when we returned to our tent and saw that the locals made a fire for us, even though it was still 35 degrees outside. Good morning from Tiwai. We slept here now on this little campground and um, you can hear all these jungle noises. They're actually pretty loud. So there is this cream cheese, basically from entering Morocco to all the rest of Africa. It's called the laughing cow Le Vache Kiri and it's everywhere. It doesn't need cooling, so it's always good to have. My travel partner shared his breakfast yeah. cigarettes good. with one of the it's locals. Good. That's stronger or that's stronger? This one is stronger than this. Really? Yeah. Yours is stronger. But turned out that the strength of his cigarettes couldn't keep up with the local ones. So he turned around defeated. Early start at the village and um, behind me you see we had a little helpers here and um, they helped us actually packing up our stuff so that was very nice. You know, I'm always so unbelievable thankful and, um, that I have the chance to see and explore fantastic places like this one, like TY Island. It was really worth the journey. Such a beautiful place with cool people and um, I can highly recommend.
so now we are leaving soon Sierra Leone we are going direction of the border to Liberia the next country we want to visit and um, there are a lot of roadblocks on the way and military controls and here I see another roadblock in front of us again and I don't see anyone so now I show you how to deal with them if nobody is around Do you remember the unwritten laws of West Africa? The road to the border is always the worst. Thanks for joining the journey to Sierra Leone and our adventures at Tivai Island. The next episode will take us to Liberia. From remote beach towns to the capital Monrovia towards the mountains inland and the ghosty mining town. Subscribe, like and comment if you want to be part of the upcoming journey. Got to go!